I mean, just the turn of a frequency can make a person cry, fight, laugh. We're, we're puppet masters. You know what I mean? That type of power is, is amazing. Not to use it in a negative way, but in a positive way. You know what this song's gonna do to some, somebody. Because if it hits you a certain way, you know it's gonna hit a million other people the, the same way too. My name is Neil H. Pogue, and I am a producer, mixer, and sometimes writer. The first time I heard a Jackson 5 song when I was a kid, that's when I got the music bug. I was a kid of, of, of the MTV era, so watching videos, and I was a drummer in several bands, and as we would go in, into studios and, and record demos, you know, while everybody left and did their thing, I would, you know, kind of hang out and see how things were, were done. But I think the biggest lesson was working at a, at a department store, working in um, customer service. When, you, when you're dealing with different people, I, I think that prepared me for different, working with different artists, different walks of life and different egos and different things. So yeah, that was, I thought that was, that was a blessing. To me, I'm still in customer service. You know, it's just a different level of customer service, but I'm still in customer service. And what's so funny is getting, getting the Grammy is like being the employee of the month. <laughs> when I was younger, I hung around with older guys, but now I find that I'm, I'm the older guy now. But it's cool, I mean, I'm so flattered they, that they still call the older guy, because they always think that the music business is a younger man's game, but I don't follow any rules. Rules to me, I mean, that's, that's why we're in, in the music business. If you get into the business of music, that means that you don't follow rules. I remember being four or five years old in the latter 60s, listening to music and then into the 70s and the 80s. So my brain is like an encyclopedia. People like to put age on things. I think if they got rid of that age barrier, man, this music business would be, I mean, you think it's, it's great now. It would be 10 times better. I work with some fearless artists who just want to put their own stamp on, on things. Case in point, working with Outkast, Tyler the Creator, Kate Trinata, um, with those types of artists, it's just, I, I see it as being fearless. And I, I, I take pride in that, because I'm, I'm that way too. So to have those types of artists call me, um, that, that means that they've been listening to what I, I do. What makes a great record is when everyone confirms it when everyone says it's it's a great album because you can't make a, something great and then put it on on the shelf and no one ever hears it so someone has to confirm that someone has to hear it so when you have millions of people streaming it or buying it or whatever and when you feel that it's a great record and then when they buy it that confirms it. That's putting a stamp on it. That's what makes a great record.